my beloved love. I'm not sure why I'm picking up on this imagery, but again, this could be a guide. This could be you in a past incarnation or in this life. But what I'm strongly getting from this card, I'm hearing you are so ancient that many people who are closely connected to your soul family are actually not physically incarnated at this time. I'm hearing someone say, I can't believe you're going back to Earth, and I almost feel as though that is what one of your good soul friends, who now might be a guide for you in this incarnation, may have said to you prior to you making the choice to take on that veil of amnesia and incarnate here. I'm hearing that a major reason you incarnated at this time had something to do with Earth, meaning Mother Nature like Gaia herself. I feel that I'm hearing you came to heal the Earth or connect in with the true core Earth frequency, and in doing so, to begin healing planet Earth. So you might be someone who is very drawn to nature, to gardening, to environmental matters. For some of you, this also could be speaking to someone who really has a love for animals. You also might simply be someone who has a very... A very... What's the word I'm looking for here? A very grounding presence on others. It took me a while. I saw someone like walking barefoot through the grass in that download during the pause. And I also saw something about your nature is very raw and real to others. I know it's kind of hard to find the words to describe it, but you are incredibly grounded. It's like the exact polar opposite of being shallow or being superficial in nature. I'm getting that this, for someone I'm tuning into, this may be confusing for certain people around you because you might be able to adjust or kind of blend in physically in the collective. So you may be someone who... That isn't even quite the way to describe it. So you have such. There's such a mysterious energy coming through here that it's difficult to find the words. It's almost like there are these seeming paradoxes that are coming up in the reading where I start to say, well you kind of blend in with the collective. And yet, then it came to me like, you completely stand out, and I was saying that you have this grounding, like raw, real presence in the lives of others, but also that they can misunderstand you. There are so many layers of complexity to your energy, and you see that showing up even in the mysterious way that some of the messages are presenting themselves. So, I'm going to get, obviously, some further clarification, but I'm just getting like people seem to misinterpret or misunderstand something about you because of how they perceive you physically versus how you actually are at a soul level or energetically, if that makes sense. I'm not sure who that message is for. That might just be for a specific person. From Divine Muscular Type yes, if you believe. <laughs> 